now to Parliament, uh, the national, uh, you know, government, that is the Affordable Housing Bill 2023 has sailed through the third reading in the National Assembly with all the amendments proposed by Joint Committee of the Departmental Committee on Finance and National Planning and that of Housing, Urban Planning and Public Works. Even as section of as new members of Parliament today stormed out of Parliament during the Parliament session after their suggestion for amendments to the bill were entirely dismissed. The leaders, including the minority whip, Junet Mohammed, faulted the entire process, stating that the manner the bill was being rushed was unconstitutional. Today is a parliament session debating the Affordable Housing Bill 2023 saw a section of Azimio MPs led by Minority Whip Junet Muhammad walk out of the house in protest of the dismissal of their suggested amendments to the bill. The leaders stated that seeing that their amendments were not accommodated, their only option was the court. Kenyans have serious things ranging from unemployment, high cost of living, to high cost of education that should be discussed on the floor of the parliament. Housing is a private good that should be left to Kenyans to decide on their own by providing jobs and letting them build their own houses. The members of parliament also alleged that President William Ruto in his authority was pushing for the bill despite its lack of popularity among Kenyans who are facing numerous financial challenges. They questioned why their suggestions for amendments to the bill were entirely dismissed, accusing their fellow MPs of blindly following directives from the executive. They are constituents, their people also pay taxes just like the constituents members of, uh, of Kenya Kwanza pay taxes. On the other hand, during the debate session, Majority Leader Kimani Chung was supported the bill, saying that it was about wealth creation and improving the economy which has been destroyed in previous regimes. Honorable Speaker, may I emphasize this bill has a lot to do with jobs and creation of employment. And they have every reason to cry because if in 10 years you could only implement or build 1,900 houses. Only 1,900 houses in 10 years. But you will now see an administration which in less than a year is doing close to 40,000 houses and is on the verge of accomplishing the promise to do a minimum of 200,000 units. Levy was introduced through an amendment of the Employment Act by Section 84 of the Finance Act 2023 with the aim of funding President William Ruto's affordable housing plan. However, its legality came under scrutiny following a High Court ruling last year. In its ruling, the High Court found that the levy was lacking of a comprehensive legal framework. Despite the government's appeal to continue collecting the levy pending further legal proceedings, the Court of Appeal declined stay orders issued by the High Court. Previously, the bill sailed through the first and second reading with 141 members voting in favor for the bill to sail through the second reading yesterday. Yvonne Kimuma, KUTV.